レッスン12家庭法パート3家庭法過去完了 Hello everyone This is Katsutoshi Aihara speaking Let's begin today's lesson Today's lesson goals are Number one You will understand if sentence impossible past reality Number two You'll be able to speak sentences with that structure. And number three, you will be able to write sentences with if sentence impossible past reality. Look at the sentences here. Number five, if I had been free, I could have gone with you. The past reality behind this sentence is In this sentence, the verbs used are Was not and couldn't go They are in the past form So this is the past reality, true past On the other hand, if you look at the number 5 sentence This shows impossible past reality this is the opposite of the past reality and the verbs used are had been and could have gone when we talk about the impossible past reality which is opposite of the past reality you use had plus past participle then the past of the helping verb plus have plus past participle. Next, let's take a look at the number six sentence. If I had known his phone number, I would have called him. The past reality behind this sentence is Because I didn't know his phone number, I wouldn't call him. Here again, the verbs used are had known and would have called. This is the had plus participle and the past of the helping verb plus have plus past participle. Let's take a look at some example. Practice. Look at the picture and the following conversation. What do you feel in the blanks? A says, why weren't you in class yesterday? B says, I wasn't feeling well. The past reality here is that I wasn't feeling well. So you have to think about the opposite past reality. The answer is, if you had been feeling well, this is the uh, had plus been plus feeling. In this case, past reality is shown in B plus ING form. Then, when you say if sentence, you have to use had been plus ING. The next part is, the past reality is that you weren't in class. So the second half of the sentence is I would have been in class yesterday. Would have been should be used here. Let's take another example. Look at the picture and the conversation. What can you fill in the blanks? A says, why didn't you do your homework last night? B says, I didn't bring my book home. The past reality is that I didn't bring my book home. So the first half of the sentence is, if I brought my book home. And the second part, the past reality was that I didn't do my homework. So if I had brought my book home, I 
would have done my homework. Another example, number two. Look at the conversation and picture. Please fill in the blank. A says, why wasn't Sally on time for work this morning? B says, her alarm clock didn't ring. The answer is, if her alarm clock had rung, Sally would have been on time for work this morning. Okay, after number three, please work on your own with your worksheet. When you practice with your worksheet, I want you to be careful about these things. Number one, please try not to fill in or write in on your worksheet from the beginning and please think by yourself and try to speak aloud and practice. Number two, practice many times so that you can be fluent. And number three, only after you become fluent, please write in on your worksheet. Here are some review questions from your textbook. Please try to answer all these questions. If you have not finished answering all the questions, please stop the movie. Then only after you finish answering the questions, please continue watching the movie. Okay, let's take a look at the answers. Number one, if you come to Tokyo, I'll show you around. Number two, if I were you, I would take an airplane to Osaka. Number three, if my grandparents lived nearby, we could often visit them. Number four, don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions. Number five, I would buy a car if I won the lottery. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you very much for your attention.